Hi. I'm popping on today to talk to you about some sunscreens that I've been using. I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I was going to do a sunscreen video for the summertime. And it's July 4th. Happy 4th of July. So I figured what a, bet, you know, what a better time to do it than today. Kind of feels like the height of summer on the 4th of July. And we're kind of just chilling. It's really quiet around the house today because we did our celebrating yesterday at the firework display in my neighborhood. So I'm like, let's just pop on and do it. So I've got four sunscreens in front of me that I want to tell you guys about. Okay, the first one is from Copare. This is a skincare company that came out about, I would say two or three years ago, and their focus, their base is coconut oil. Um, organic cold pressed coconut oil is the main ingredient that they talk about in all of their products. And the first product I ever tried from them was a big jar of their organic cold pressed coconut oil. And it's like an all purpose. You can use it as a facial moisturizer, body moisturizer, hair conditioner, uh, makeup remover, eye makeup remover. You could shave with it, you know, use it as a bath oil, melt it in your bath, everything. And, um, some people really love coconut oil and some people seem to be sensitized to it and think that it uh, causes acne. But I've never personally had a problem with it. I'm fine with uh, coconut oil. I never felt like it was comedogenic to my skin or anything like that. Um, you might want to try it for yourself to make sure. But in any event, they came out with a sunscreen uh, just in the last few months, and this one's called Sun Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I was intrigued because I'm always on the lookout for a sunscreen that is a non-chemical base, meaning it's a mineral-based sunscreen. It has either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in it. And those are the two sunscreen ingredients that are always touted for very sensitive skin, for children, babies, uh, no chemicals, no endocrine endocrine disruptors in a lot of the chemical-based sunscreens. And if you are a little bit more of like a natural organic type focus in your skincare, you definitely are always looking towards those non-chemical mineral-based sunscreens. So basically the two ingredients you're going to want are um, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. So that's a mouthful. So, okay. So this one has 12% zinc oxide. So whenever you see something that has zinc oxide, you know, you're getting the full range of protection. You're getting UVA, UVB, and I've got this pulled up here. What's interesting about Campari is there's a lot of sunscreens lately that are talking about um, being effective against blue light, the HEV light rays. Um, for example, things that are emitted from our electronic devices. Apparently there are studies now that are coming out that computer screens, television screens, our cell phones, everything are admitting blue light, which in of itself is also aging, which is not a good thing considering we're always looking at our phones. So this is supposedly for UVA, UVB, which is the sun outside, and then for the lights from our electronic devices that are bombarding our skin and aging us. So they're saying that this is supposedly very hydrating, it's invisible, blends seamlessly, non-greasy, completely mineral-based SPF 30. I've been trying it, I would say, for about the last month, um, using it underneath my makeup during the day. And I was intrigued and I liked the fact that it didn't seem to have a lot of silicones in it. It's not completely silicone free, but there's not a lot of heavy silicones in it, which is what I like because the foundation that I love and use personally is my mascara 3D um, cream foundation. And that doesn't play very well with silicones. It's a more natural based formula. So silicones sometimes don't play well with more naturally based oil kind of organic formulas. So underneath my cream foundation makeup, this is quite beautiful. And if you are normal to dry or dry, this can actually replace your moisturizer and be like your SPF and your moisturizer in one. It does really hydrate and it feels nice on the skin and it plays nicely under makeup. However, I will say if you're a bit 
you know, on the combination normal to oily or even oilier side. I don't know if you'll appreciate this texture. It's slightly thicker. Not to say that once you put your makeup on over it and you powder or do whatever you do to control your oil that it won't look beautiful. But if you really like those ultra, ultra lightweight sunscreens that feel like nothing on your skin, you're probably gonna have to go the more chemical route and forego uh, completely mineral-based formulas because they do tend to feel a little bit heavier on the skin. Um, I will also say, let me put a little bit, um, the cap is a little bit strange, like it's kind of like perforated, it's kind of weird, but you're supposed to shake it up. And like I said, it's a little bit thicker, almost like a face cream. Um, it does leave a slight white cast on the skin and I'm pretty fair to light. Well, I wouldn't say fair to light, but I am light, especially when I'm not self tanning. I'm self tanning right now, but um, it did leave a little bit of a white cast on my skin. Now, when I put my, my makeup on over that, you couldn't really tell, but it does leave a slight white cast, just so you know. So if you have a darker skin tone, keep that in mind. You'll either have to go over that with makeup or you will have a little bit of a white cast. But it is a, a really nice, beautiful product because I use my makeup on top of it. I don't have a problem with the white cast and um, I like the fact that it's doesn't have a lot of silicones in the formula and that it's a mineral base. But if you're oily, uh, I'm not sure if you will care for it that much. Um, okay, the second sunscreen I wanna to talk to you about is from the drugstore, and this one is the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing SPF 30. Now this one's nice because it's for normal to oily skins. This is a very, very light, lightweight formula, like super lightweight. So if you are oily, you will absolutely love this formula. I mean, it really does sink in beautifully. If you're a little drier, it probably won't replace your moisturizer. You'll probably have to put something on underneath to hydrate your skin. If you're oily, very oily, or normal to oily combo, you might really like this for summer and not have to use anything else. So you could wash your face, hydrate with this, and then put your makeup on and be fine. It does say that it is a moisturizer as well. It's got the uh, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, matte finish, moisturizes and hydrates um, and restores the skin barrier. So it, it is kind of like a light moisturizer. It's definitely a lot less, um, thick as the uh, Copare. Like I can still feel the Copare on my hand versus where I just put the CeraVe, but the CeraVe is supposedly, you know, ultra light and a matte finish. So, so if you like something really light uh, matte finish, go for the CeraVe. Um, and that was, I think, $16, $17 or so at um, Walmart so or Target. So very, very um, good price there. And I forgot to tell you guys, the Sunday's Campari, I got this for $34 at Ulta. The last one I wanna show you guys, I know I was gonna show you four, but maybe I'll just do another part two next time. Um, cause I have a lot more sunscreens to show you, but the last one I wanted to show you was one that I picked up at Walmart. That was kind of like this crazy find that I just saw last minute. This is Maskology and it was in, you know, when you walk through the aisles and they've got these big center displays that you kind of have to walk around in like the seasonal area where all the sunscreens are. So I found this, it was packaged like this. Um, and I saved this for you guys so I could read it, but this is a Maskology SPF 50 facial sunscreen lotion. And it's in a cushion compact. And it was literally like, I think it was $4.99 or five something. It was relatively inexpensive. And um, it's like a Korean cushion type compact sunscreen. And I was very intrigued. SPF 50, lightweight sunscreen in a compact for hands-free, easy application. It's got aloe vera to moisturize and nourish. And um, it has a combination of mineral and chemical sunscreens. It does have zinc, titanium dioxide, and a couple of chemical sunscreens in the formula. But this is how it looks. It comes in that, how cute is that? Like a little cushion compact, right? And then you open it up 
and then you just basically apply it the way you would a cushion foundation. And it's really lightweight, and I really like the formula. It's not heavy, it's not thick, and it didn't make me feel like it was just too much on the skin. I've been using it, hi, <laughs> my daughter just walked in. I've been using it for about three weeks now, on and off with these other ones that I've been trying, and I really like it under my makeup. It almost acts as a makeup primer too. So this one's called Maskology. You have to go check this out. And this one is at Walmart. I have not seen it anywhere else. So that's all for now. You want to say goodbye? Bye. I will give you guys a part two coming up and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.